Hello and welcome to a new video about simple electric circuits. We're talking about another type of power source today. Last time we talked about the voltage, so voltage source and today this is a real tongue breaker. Huh? Voltage source. Today we talk about a current source. Probably the same. So, and if voltage is, the so is coming out of a voltage source, what will come out of a current source? Current. Wow. Right? So let's have a look at the symbol. Symbol looks pretty much the same. The symbol, circle, two connections, but now this line is cross. Right? So inside here we have a source current I0 and we might have a voltage at our at our source. Huh? And that's it. And in an ideal world, huh, we have somewhere here an I0. And in an ideal world, the voltage or the current rushing out of the source is constant. Does not depend on the voltage at all. Does not really matter. Zero volts, three million volts, same current. By the way, there is also an old symbol by this from this. Yeah, it's looking like this. If you ever see this, this is an old symbol. Uh, it's old. Use this one. Yeah. So. Like already mentioned several times, our world we're living is not ideal. So how does a real source look like, current source, a model of a real source? How does it behave? This would be the ideal source. And now I make a real source. There's also an internal resistor here, Ri. Right? So here, actually, we have our I0. Here we have our I. Here we have our U. And here, at our internal resistor, a part of our source current is simply bypassing the load. The load, bypassing the load, the load would be here. Here's the load. This is the load resistor here. Can be various sizes. RL. Mm -hmm. It's the load resistor. Now let's have a look here at this node. Yeah. What does this mean? This means what is going in? I0. Yeah. What is coming out? Minus I. Minus I. I. And this is 0 amps. Yeah. This means I equals I0 minus II, and this is I0 minus, and here we have U here, U divided by RI. And this is already the common, the common relation. You see there is I0, and the bigger U will get, the smaller I will get. So in reality, it would look like that, that this is linear but dropping, so something like that. Yeah. This is real. Real, and this is ideal. Now let's think about what should happen that this, this is getting more like this. Ri, what would be the ideal Ri? I, I, Ri would be very big. If it's unlimited, it would be ideal. If not, then we have a less ideal behavior. The smaller R is, the less ideal it is. And we talked at power source. We talked about different stuff, we talked about different operations, and those are here as well. We have, of course, also the operation for open circuit. And the things are the same. This means RL equals 
infinite ohm. So this is like it would be open. So this means I equals zero amps. <laughs> I is equals zero amps. And what is now the no load voltage? So wh what voltage will there be? If this is zero amps, all I zero must pass here. This means I I will get to I zero. Yeah? So this means our no load voltage will be I zero multiplied by Ri. And since I said this Ri must be big to make it ideal, you see, even if small, if this is huge, uh, even at small uh, source current, there will be a huge no load voltage, huge no load voltage, huge uh, uh, open circuit voltage. So never leave a current source open. That's not good. Hmm? So this is again called uh, open circuit voltage. Or no load voltage. Hmm? Open circuit. And now the second operation scheme was short circuit. This means RL is zero ohm. Mm -hmm. This also indicates U is zero volts. Yeah. So if U is zero volts, this is zero, then II, if this is zero, huh, then this will be gone, yeah? so I equals I zero. So the I short circuit equals I zero. Short circuit current. Wrong color. Short circuit current equals I zero. So this time it's vice versa. This time a short circuit will show the values of the source yeah? and an open circuit will show the values of, uh, of the internal resistance. And then of course, well, of course we have normal operation as well. Normal operation. RL is just RL, yeah? and uh, well, the voltage U equals uh, I RL multiplied by I, hmm? and uh, I equals I zero minus uh, U divided by Ri. That's it. Uh, that's normal operation relation. This, 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 this line. Voltage and current sources. Uh, now current source. Now we have two types of power sources. Of course, our circuits are not only a load. Uh, we've used here just load. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit more complex. Sometimes it's not just a load, it's a combination of loads and so on. So next time we're talking about uh, resistors combinations, how to deal with them, how to get a replacement resistance uh, to, to simulate one load, a, a replacement load, if you want to have it like this. So next time we have a huge combination of resistors and bring it down to just one. That's our next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.